Well, we've all been dealing with uh, months of stress mm -hmm. in different ways, yeah. right? Yeah, the Rebecca Coles is going to show us how to mix up homemade bath salts to help soothe the soul and calm the mind. Yes, I think we could all agree that we do deserve a break, even if it means sneaking into the bathroom for some privacy. But this time, sneak into the bathroom and take a long, hot soak in medicinal salts that help relieve pressure, stress, and heal the soul and the spirit. For this project, all you need is salt and essential oil. I like to use a variety of salt, so I will mix in about three cups of table salt, kosher salt, and Epsom salt. So put in about a cup of Epsom salt, which by the way isn't salt at all. It's magnesium sulfate, which is a great conditioner for the skin. Kosher salt, I like the texture in the jar, and it melts a little slower than the rest of the salt, so I continue to get conditioning power. Now to the salts, we're going to add essential oil. Again, I want to slow down. I'd love to induce sleep and just calm myself. So for that, I'm going to use lavender. I'll use about 10 to 20 drops, mix it up, and smell it. Also, don't forget that you can mix some of the essential oils. So I like to use rosemary, chamomile, and lavender together. Now, mix it up. Ooh, and it smells so good already. Now we're going to put it into a decorative container. And there you go, that's all you need. So when you're taking a bath, you'll just want to add about a half a cup to a cup into the running water. It will melt and you just slide in, sink in, and enjoy every single bit of it. Now another thing you can do if you want a more luxurious bath water, I like to use the salt that I've added, the essential oils. So I'm going to add a handful of rolled oats, some chamomile, and rose hips. It looks like breakfast. And then put it in a container. There you go, isn't that pretty? This, by the way, is a great gift idea. In fact, if you're going to give it away for a gift, you probably want to give the recipient a strainer or a muslin bag, because if you put this in the water, the oats and the botanicals, well, they'll clog up the drain. So put it in the strainer, put it in the muslin bag, and the cool thing about the bag is that you can use it as a washcloth. spread that love from the oatmeal around your skin to help condition it. So sneak away, take a break, probably don't want to take a book into the bath, but a nice hot cup of tea and some soothing salts, oh baby, we're good to go. Staying healthy in the garden, I'm Rebecca Coles. Make sure to check out Rebecca's Instagram page for more of her DIY home and gardening tips. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Ready to go, <laughs> Riley. <laughs>